everybody and welcome to Just Keep Scuba Diving, Scuba Diving on a Budget. Today is going to be the top three reasons why you should own your own gear. Oh my gosh, what a response from people I had offline that were friends of mine that watched my video on why you should own your own gear. Yes, those are the three reasons you should choose to own your own gear. But here's the top three reasons that I have found from everybody across the board that has talked to me, including you, Thomas. I know you're watching. The top three reasons why you should own your own gear. Number one, you get your gear, you hook it up to your tank, you don't look at it really because you just see the numbers, you jump in the water and you find out that your computer's set to bar. There are people out there that still use bar. There's actually a whole world out there outside the United States that uses bar. Um, so you get down there, you have no clue what the heck. And you don't know how to put your computer into the spot because it's set and it's going and you're at depth. Oh, okay. <sighs> Number two, that green or brown stuff in your wetsuit may not be mold. It may be poo. Number two, guys, we've all been there, done that, even though my wife says that she does not pee in her wetsuit. What about that guy that said, oh crap, or all of a sudden that fish he had beforehand just didn't quite sit on his stomach right, you know? You look in the wetsuit and it's like, hmm, I'm not putting my foot in there. No, no. But how many of us actually look in there? Oh, well, you know, and it could be simple. People put body powder and all kinds of other stuff to put the wetsuits on because we know how fabulously wonderful it is to get a wetsuit on and off, especially when you're wet. In owning my own gear, I don't have to worry about what the guy fed the fish with before. Do we know anything about feeding the fish? It happens. Yeah. Do you ever sniff your regulator if you're renting it? You may not want to. You'd hope the salt water and the cleansing and all that gets all that stuff out there, but let's say that guy who's had the upset stomach, instead of it going down, it comes up. Well, you're sitting there. It may have been towards the end of the dive, so he goes and he dips his little stuff in there and, well, doesn't get clean. You get it next day, or maybe he did that in the morning. He's gone home because he ain't going to do it anymore. You're coming in the afternoon dive and you get his gear. Are you sure you want his gear? Just wondering. All right, so after many, many, many responses, those are the top three reasons why you should own your own gear. Everybody has their own, please comment below. Guys, ladies, comment below. Seeing me in public and telling me in public is great, but put the comments in below so our newbies can understand what we're talking about, such as, putting body powder on you to put a wetsuit on. Does that even work? Anyway, <laughs> I saw a guy on a boat all over himself. And I'm like, what in the hell are you doing? And I can only imagine what that wetsuit looked like after a couple of days of doing that dive. Love you. Just keep scuba diving, scuba diving on a budget. I got some good news today and we'll share it later. Hit like, hit the subscribe. See you later. Let's go diving.